festive season and time for a present to myself. It's a Digitech AR1748 receiver from JCAR at the moment on special for $99. It covers the medium wave broadcast band, FM broadcast band plus short wave. Unlike cheaper radios, the short wave range is continuous coverage. The radio's got several interesting features which I'll get to in a moment. Front panel is dominated by a large tuning knob, similar to what you get on many amateur radios. There are tuning steps, slow, fast and stop. The stop locks the tuning. The knob is a bit plasticky and a little bit hard to tune if you... The knob is a bit plasticky and less smooth than what we're used to with amateur radios. On the left, your band switch, AM and FM with a choice of wide or narrow responses on AM and mono or stereo on FM, though for stereo you will need to use the earphone socket. Band segments on shortwave are about 10 MHz wide. Down the bottom we have the RF gain control, bass, treble and volume. On the right there are clock settings and top right is the main on off switch. As you can see there's a nice big display, prominently displaying frequency and a few other things like battery condition or signal strength. On the side DX and local, antenna selection between the external and internal and the keyboard light. Down below there's line out, line in and earphone. The DC input connection. Notice it's only 9 volts so don't go plugging in 12 or 13.8 volts into it. Also the center pin is negative. That's non-standard, mostly it's positive. So observe polarity carefully as well. On the back panel are two F connectors. First time I'd seen those on a broadcast radio. On the right is an interesting feature, an AM IF out. That's 455 kHz output. To demonstrate the tuning steps. Here I'm in fast tuning step, or 5 kHz on the shortwave bands. Pressing slow cuts the increment down to 1 kHz. Now this has quite a good tuning rate. At 61, that's about 38, so it's around 20 or 25 kilohertz a turn, which is something you normally don't get on a cheap shortwave radio. On medium wave, the tuning step is 9 kilohertz in fast, or for slow, it's down to 1 kilohertz. The radio handles well, and there's no annoying chugging as you tune across the band. The Q-Tune function allows large excursions in each band. They seem to roughly align with the limits of broadcast bands in the shortwave section. That's narrow, and that's wide. For DXing, normally it's narrow. If the signal's strong, then wide is better. When you get to the end of a 10 meg band segment, there's an annoying beep. The instructions don't say how you get rid of it. I was reading a review of the previous model, the AR1747. That review also mentioned a problem with a similar annoying beep. And the instructions again had no details of how to fix it. The review though told you how to do that and the answer is first of all you turn the radio off. You hold the alarm button down for about two or three seconds. As you heard then there was a beep. Turn the radio back on, turn to the end of the band and the annoying beep has gone. Highly recommended if you ever get one of these radios. Even up here the aerial is picking up noise, so the sensitivity is certainly sufficient.
time to time. On a local AM station to test the radio selectivity. Tune off to 9 kilohertz and it is still audible. I'm in wide position. Putting in a narrow reduces it a bit. For serious medium wave DX sync, you really need something like a loop antenna with a sharp null. The radio's front end is not ideal. Here at 2 MHz, you can hear signals that are obviously out of place from the AM broadcast band. The front end of a broadband receiver like this obviously involves some compromises and isn't as sharp as we would like. As you can see outside, it's nice out there, uh, the sun's out, there's not too many clouds about. Heading for a top today of 27 degrees. The sun has just set here and it will still be broad daylight in the Northern Territory. However, their transmissions are still being heard on 2 MHz. Comparing receivers on 160 metres, 1843 kilohertz AM. The smaller receiver is a National Panasonic, just an ordinary AM broadcast receiver that's been tweaked up to 160 metres. And then I'm comparing it with the Digitec. Now the National. is definitely the better radio for 160 metres AM. So I'm certainly not going to discard this one. And a reminder, this radio does not have a BFO fitted. External units are available and you sometimes see them on eBay. Designed for the AR1747, they'll also work with this set. The IF 
is 455 kilohertz, so an ordinary BFO would be okay. I'm using a signal frequency BFO. It only covers some of the amateur bands, but it has certain advantages. This one uses a ceramic resonator for 3.58 meg, and its harmonics work for most HF amateur bands. As you can see, the BFO is swamping the receiver, so I've got to move it further away. Overall, I recommend the AR1748. It's not the best receiver for amateur AM, CW or SSB reception, but it's a good general purpose radio to have around the house and the shack. And some interesting experiments can be done with the IF output connection on the rear panel.